When teaching mathematics in the intermediate phase, we need to remember that there are certain policy requirements that we need to follow. What should we bear in mind when we're teaching mathematics? Well, the first is that the curriculum for maths is full of content, but they're also essential skills that need to be taught in a very practical way. We also need to bear in mind that learners are coming up from the foundation phase with the basic math skills and knowledge and we need to grow and develop these and build on what they've learned previously. But probably the most important aspect is that we need to teach in an enthusiastic way to develop interest in the subject and the learners grasp and enjoy the subject from a young age. Mathematics has five different sections to it and each of these content areas or sections are weighted in different ways and you'll notice it's the same for grade four five and six with your numbers operations and relations being your your heaviest weighted of 50 percent and then your patterns functions and algebra are 10 percent space and shape 15 percent measurement 15 and then data handling 10 percent and this goes towards the amount of time we spend on it as well as the focus in the assessments we are allocated six hours per week for maths and three to six hours per term should be allocated to revision. It's essential to revise those basic skills all of the time. It is also suggested that in term two and four that six hours are spent on assessment and assessing the learner's skills and abilities. Which means in total 210 hours of teaching should be distributed across the content areas. So it sounds like a lot of time, but really the curriculum is very full. Now if we have a look at across the grade in the different content areas, your numbers, operations, relations, the learners do very similar things in grade four, five, and six, and obviously build on each of these grades. With the exception in grade six, we're adding decimal fractions. Patterns, functions, and algebra, you'll notice it's the same repeating grade four, five, and six, but obviously building on the skills and content in each grade. With space and shape, or the geometry side of maths, in grade four, five, and six, they look at the properties of 2D and 3D shapes, your symmetry, viewing of objects, and position of movement. And once again, of course, each grade is building on the knowledge and skills from the grade before. In measurement, and this is an essential component of the curriculum, Measurement needs to also build on from grade four, five, and six, and of course grade four builds on the knowledge and content that the learners gained in foundation phase. And then of course your data handling building from grade to grade. And we need to remember that we're preparing our learners for the senior phase and for FET, and they need this foundation, and they need a solid foundation to be able to cope with the mathematics skills and knowledge later on. In terms of the formal assessment tasks, in term one, there's an assignment on an, and a test. In term two, again, an assignment and a test. In term three, you've got a project and a test. And then in term four, you've got an assignment and an investigation. And of course, all of these contribute to the final mark weighting at the end of the year. Term one, term two, term three, and term four, all of these together, all the tasks, which is eight assessments, make up your promotion and progression mark, or make up 75% of your promotion and progression mark. And then the other 25% comes from the end of year exam. This gives you 100% for your progression and promotion at the end of the year.